Welcome to another installment of In the Dark with the Lord. I'm putting you in a dark out. That's right, trolls. I'm lining you up. You know who you are. You're the one who wrote the last comment on the very last video that came out. That's how the moderators are now tracking you. But it doesn't matter because they're not playing the game. It's the subscribers who should be tracking you right now. Hopefully they're going to get it or they're going to be kicked out of the game like you. Trolls. All right, trolls. Talking about what's the difference between private and public. And you keep telling me to answer this question. You say, do you know anything about private? That's all you guys said. So I lined up all these trolls, which that's what you wanted to ask about a video where I'm explaining to you how to play this game and saying to you all the time, it's not about the private or public. It's about if this Rudolfo or you suddenly showed up at my house and you need to use the bathroom. I would allow it. I wouldn't say I allow it. I would go, oh no, Rudolfo, I remember you've been telling me for the past two days that you, you were constipated, right? He wouldn't know that I also was constipated on all those days that he hung up a sign on their shell restroom because they didn't want to clean it because they were supposed to clean it every time because of the COVID. They just stuck up a sign that said out of order and then just let all these people not wash their hands now if you have not watched television or if you are not from this country in this nation they're asking us to wash our hands it's become a big big deal so now if you've seen all those videos and I've shown you all those chains, which means that's all over the nation of United States and you see that everyone acts the same, you're taking their side because they suddenly decide that they're private because they don't want you using the bathroom anymore because you film them in another time smoking meth out of the camera range of the shell closed circuit while they're saying to me, hey, it's private. Yeah, dude, it doesn't matter. I would have still let them use the bathroom to wash their hands. I might not let them crap because I had to crap in a plastic bag, then pour it onto the public sidewalk, which was actually the car I was in. I was they can't really say that the parking thing to get out of the shell or in, it, you know, that's public. It's like the McDonald's. I already showed you that other video, Trolls. It doesn't matter. The guy, the guy, the, the one manager there, he sat down on the curb because he couldn't decide if he wanted to have his ass kicked on the private sector of McDonald's, knowing that they wouldn't have his back. They wouldn't take care of them when, for, the, for the hospital bills. That's what you're not seeing. It does not matter. If you go against a mental person, if someone starts, all of a sudden they start playing by the rules, they realize that they can't come closer to you. That's why those cops didn't come closer to me in that video. You're not understanding. They were actually wrong. I could stay where I was. It's just the others would have had to say, well, he's staying there too long. I would have done this thing. I haven't even started to use the vacuum. I put the human effort. They just didn't want to do that. The cops want to go do something important. They don't need this. I didn't either. But I needed my story to be told. And in that video, I tell it from inside their bathroom in real time. Now you, you don't even listen to it. You're just looking at this thing happening and you're writing, do you know what private is? And it doesn't matter. They should let anyone use the bathroom. That was the point. That was the point of these videos. They need to, be, to do the human effort. You can ban that private rule. But I'm trying to tell you that if the cops came and they decided that they were against what those shell people were doing and saying, they could have said, well, you know, it's Santa Barbara. 
we can make it public for this instance. And that's called bending the rules. And we can do that here in Santa Barbara only. So that's why the chain thing doesn't quite work, right? I can't really say for all those other places and all the other auditors, they have told me, good ones. Like, I'm going to mention, just you go tell Furry Potato this situation and let them tell you that you left me a hate message, right? It's on there. Now, you thought I was joking, but I told you, no, I'm in transition. So you, troll, left me a hate message. You have no right then to later come on as a First Amendment auditor to teach me what it is. When I show you another video where I'm standing in the one spot that would be private in this public place. I'm showing you how ridiculous it is. And it's the water company, bitch. I fucking protested right there on private property saying, trespass me, bitches. That means I know I smoked right there while trespassing because that was a thousand dollar fine. If you saw the video and you knew that, dude, he's going to get a thousand dollar fine. But no, I was fighting the signs. I was yelling at the sign that said no littering, no soliciting. And in that video, I guess you didn't listen. I said, I've been over there for two years doing the WTF experiment. Have you troll? You haven't. Where were the cops? I then showed sheriff's number. Right? I showed you a thing. Delavina Marketplace. I said, it's the only place in Santa Barbara where Delavina is a two-way street. It's a block. Other than that, it's one way to the beach. Did you know that, troll, while you're telling me which part is private? It's all private. It all belongs to the county of Santa Barbara. I live in one of their facilities. I own the four inside walls, though. They still broke in and said they were doing some sort of welfare check, but that was against the law. So I filmed them, but they said I could not. And I said, how long have you not had body cams? Have you never heard of Johnny Five? Oh, they had never heard of this. These are the videos you need to look at, troll, before you start telling me private, because it doesn't matter. They only own the outside of that county low-income facility that's right behind the jail there that has a county mental health facility that I and others use. And we tend to go, if we're living there or around the, the, the houses that you don't even understand what a halfway house is, you wouldn't want it by your place. But it happens to be next to this shell station run by this manager, Jeremy. He runs the Venico I mean, he owns it, dude. He owns the Conoco station here, dude. Did you know that? Did you do all this research? Did you, during that audit, say, oh, actually, when you were asking the homeless guy, Dave, your buddy there, who used to be an Uber driver, right? But that fell through COVID. You didn't see that video, you didn't know, but you weren't listening. I said to him, all right, they're telling me that it's private. I know there's a public easement, where is it? And he points it out. That means he knew it, a homeless guy, and I knew it. And you wrote, troll, that's all you wrote, was, do you know anything about private? It was all explained to you there, troll. Sorry I'm yelling to anyone else who's listening to this. This dude is, you kill people, troll. Sorry, just back away. Uh, Come back later, everyone else. Troll, you don't understand. Just sit and listen to your thoughts several times and then write your thoughts down and then punctuate wait correctly. Have you not seen my videos? If you do not write something positive, If you do not write something that's punctuated correctly, you will be removed by my services, the human effort, because you are being a dick. And that's the only race that we do not accept. So First Amendment auditor who does not know what they're doing and you're just fucking jealous because I'm doing something new. And either way, I say fuck you, all of you, because you don't know if it's real news, so I'm okay. I do work for the oppress, so it's okay. What else are you going to try to tell me, troll? That's 
the First Amendment. You wrote, what's that got to do with the First Amendment? Freedom of press, bitch. Freedom to protest that you are a bitch. You are a dick. And I'm removing you from the Green Party, which we were doing stuff. You are now removed. You're, you're anybody connected to any sort of number to the VIN of your car that I have put up there. Anybody who knows you on YouTube, anywhere you left one comment that you forgot to delete is going to be all tagged into one motherfucking algorithm going your way, taking anyone you know, and I don't care if all your buddies will be removed from any social media because it'll just go directly to Instagram. Oh, who goes there? Facebook. Yeah, those old timers, that's who you're going to have to apologize, troll. Your grandmama, her only photos of her mom taken down by this resistance that you couldn't even learn French. Putain de con de tachas. C'est vachement facile. If I was able to learn English and my accent is made, you, you can't even make fun of it. You don't think it's real. Troll, you're not real. Well, things are going to get real. See, it's different when you have to listen. You want to listen? You want to listen what it's going to sound like when I am finally talking to you, like I'm talk- going to be talking to Jeremy at his next Thanksgiving. Yeah, COVID style. I'm telling you, like everyone, I'm warning you all in advance. I know you're not going to get the warning till too late. The video will be viral because I'll be in your house, motherfucker, like a Thanksgiving Vegas vacation from hell because I think he overacted along with all those other actors during that scene when he just wants his bonus from the boss and the boss has to explain in front of everyone at this gathering where he was pretending to be the best troll ever and he had to explain that no in fact I'm an asshole I don't care about these people they all overact their you know incredulousness but Chevy Chase, he fucks it up there. He goes family and just makes himself look googly. Instead, he should have gone bipolar, ANSD on their asses like I'm doing. Make those eyeballs look like Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Go way past it. The cuckoo's nest with Christopher Lloyd just laughing at you, troll. Saying you shouldn't have killed Lee McMillan. You laugh. You are connected to the troll who did it. It doesn't matter if you say you did it, if you didn't do it. We're just going to blame it on the algorithm. The way the algorithm took down news of this particular shell station. And this shell station is not being only sued by me. So don't you get into our project unless you're First Amendment audit. Like, learn what the First Amendment is first before you come toward me and not understand the title. It said, First Amendment failure. And it shows a picture of me. And in the description box, it says, to pass this game, troll, so that you can continue on into the experiment. You just had to have my back. It went for everyone. It's such an easy thing. You could have passed the SAT. I would have given you all the money. That's what I told the tweakers. Had they not tried to steal that stupid toy from the Syrians at my safe house, Dudes, go back to wherever you're going, but don't come and troll me and say, I don't understand th- that. No. Once I got into that scene, if I'm going to steal from my buddies or, or from the wrong people, you're stealing, my God, you're stealing from the poor and, and using it to be obvious in public. That's all I'm going to say. Everyone else is fine. Don't you now know, I've already told you, the protagonist is not racist. So anything I say, black, white, I don't care. I I don't have to be PC. I I don't have to be PC. I could say I was Jewish. Now I've decided to be, you know, 
Ukrainian again. I'm going to be Russian Ukrainian. That's that's a that's an Orthodox religion. Yeah, Russian Ukrainian. I can make it whatever up. No, the Green Party. We're the human effort. We're the human element. We're not you computers. We're not you. You you tap in away. So I'll be like this, dude. That's analog. And I will say to you, oh. Really, let's make the Holocaust great again because I, uh, I reconverted. It's a hate crime. Yeah, didn't matter the child molestation 1,000 reports against you didn't work. Didn't matter. There is a trail. So they saw they made a mistake, but now we got you. And whoever's connected onto you, how many subscribers? Whoop! Now they are tagged. The algorithm is gonna be up your asses in so many ways, I'm telling you. From the government. Yeah, work with their algorithm. Talk to their switchboard. Write your comments like you do. But <laughs> see if they answer you. That's the difference. I'm answering you. Trolls. You hurt people. It's, it's totally random. You're going to get caught like the tweakers. You're stealing. You're stealing from your brothers, too. What I heard up in Slap City. That's long distance. It, that you are an ambassador. Just like those shell people. Doesn't matter if you're not on the property. So if you want to do the thing, I can understand loving the thing. If you guys are going to be screaming at each other, stealing right in front, then, then be mad because the guy tells you what the price is, like you are doing falling down. But you're not. You're just falling down and yelling. You guys yelled all night long. Cops never came. And right under the no loitering, no soliciting. And that's what my movies are, troll. I'm just showing the cops that take down your signs. They're ugly. Put a bench. Maybe if those tweakers could sit at the bench, they'd have time. But they're being pushed in the streets like any nomad. And now, if every citizen assumes that now the nomads are all tweakers just because they had these cis tweakers doing it, no, we must take down that particular tweaker. So, tweakers, look after your friends, take care of each other, do not allow in the club thievery make them then they got to go off and do their own gang but you got to let them know they they gotta they can't wear your colors slapsinians right and they can't wear your colors slapbanians but they're coming around to a town where we're just gray and you wear whatever you want but they're acting like they come from outer space and they think they got it together. I'm sorry, I keep preaching about that. I don't care, like just everyone learns their own way. It's, it's their own path. I just don't like the stealing. I understand the stealing. I've had friends, I mean, I, I, I've been sober from heroin for like, I don't know, 30 years. So I know one of the reasons was that was because I was about to steal. I'd always told myself I'll do any drug as long as I can maintain in public, you know, not do anything illegal. Nobody's hurt, like getting mad at me in, 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 in emotional ways. It, as long as I was, you know, a professional about whatever drug I was doing, I felt that was okay. If someone else is doing the same thing, that's fine. But if you're start if if you if you keep calling like what a friend was doing to me, saying, "Oh, you're wondering where all your CDs went." Wait, you're telling me that I left you just the Iggy Pop and and Doors, and I took all the other CDs. That doesn't sound like me, and I sold them. Is that what you're accusing me of, Misha? And I'm going, no, it's just they're all gone, and so somebody did it, and uh, you were sleeping here, and I wasn't here that night, and, and it's just weird, because you would know. You better not sell Iggy Pop 
or the doors. That kind of thing. But what you did say, kind of like a tweaker would do, that's why I stay away from tweak too, was say, no, it was some chick. Now you got this other chick. I'm like, dude, you're married. When did you start doing this other thing? But okay, all right, I can understand that. So maybe it was your dealer. You know, it gets into a lot. You you start to put yourself in their shoes. But they're still lying about, just tell me, dude, you did it. Instead, he's like, yeah, so then I fell asleep. They get really detailed. It's a really amazing story. All these details. It sounds much better than what they were sleeping through. But he's like, I nodded out at one point, And when I woke up, I guess that's when it happened. I didn't notice. It was like this obvious thing. What are you talking about? Like, if you were lying, right? I mean... I only had the couch to sleep on. So you're sleeping on the couch. It's in the studio. I made everything about the record collection and the CDs. That's the first thing you would have seen was that it was like a gaping tooth. Nah, I don't know. You know, I was kind of messed up. And then that's it. They blame it on the something, you know, messed up. I know, me too. It's just all my exes, and I've been married three times and divorced three times. They never let me get away with it. That's all I'm saying. They never let me get away with it. Not three strikes. One strike, and they never let me get away with it. So trolls, why should I let you get away with your psychological torture toward me? Think about what you're...